okay? Yeah. Charlie, how do you feel now? Yeah. Does your foot feel better? Yeah. How are you feeling? It's okay. Yeah? Did the mommy make your little tear. I didn't have to go and doctor. I had me here, doctor. Yeah. Can you walk? Okay. You can walk, right? Yeah. Good morning. So it's the next morning after the hospital. Um, I just. Can you talk about that? Yeah. Oh. I think, anyway, so, I just finished with my medical procedure on her toe. So we just replaced the bandage with just a regular thick, big band-aid. Does it feel a little better, baby? Yeah. yeah. Also... I did a little one, two, one, and then one, this, and then this one, 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 and then this Yeah, the doctor gave you all of this. Um... And then also, you and Oliver are matching today. Yeah. Yeah, look. You guys are so cute. Look how big he looks now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need to take new pictures. Cheese. Not today, but yeah. Cheese. So also, we're going to meet up... Um, with my mom and my grandparents, because they're my grandparents are going to Peru for like six months, so we're all gonna have lunch with them um, at this Peruvian restaurant. And we vlogged there before, but I never used that footage, and I'm mad because I never did. But the food is so good. I'm probably gonna order this all the same stuff so we can show you guys. Um, and then we're gonna go to. I think we want to go to like a few stores also, maybe before, because we want to get some. I want to so. This is our wall right now in the living room. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did a little DIY and made it more fall theme because it was the home and it had like the green leaves only with like two lemons. But I took the lemons out and then I bought some like fall whatever. Put that on there. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do, because the wall looks so empty. I want to try and get like something over here, something over here, maybe something on top, or just put that somewhere else and just fill it up Daddy, more. They need to cut our so that's what we're trying to do because we barely Daddy, have like I'm anything like, up. So we're gonna go to a few of those stores, check out some stuff, see what we can get, um, and then we have a fun video planned to film tomorrow that we're gonna post later this week. So we're gonna scout out some places for that as well. Um, but yeah, let's get the morning started. We're gonna go to Starbucks and try that. What are we gonna try today? I forgot what it's called. The pumpkin spice cold brew. Okay. Maybe something else also, but. Yeah, yeah. look! Oh my god, I yeah, wanna look. see the caramel yeah, mocha. Look. Wait, are they out in the fall or in the winter? I don't know. All right, let's go. All right, so we went to Starbucks and ended up getting mainly all the new drinks that they have for the fall. So we have um, a salted caramel mocha frap with coconut milk, a iced pumpkin spice latte. You didn't get almond milk? No, I didn't think oh, you'd wanted it. That's fine. And then the new famous popular pumpkin spice cold brew. Um, so let's try the biggest one first, so the most popular. Should we like mix so, it up? Are we supposed to mix it up? I think so. Oops. So it's like, it's like a, what is it called again? The sound? Uh, ASMR. Oof, if you like coffee, it's not bad actually. You know what? Hang on. I drink it. Does it just taste like a PSL? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, not at all. It's like strong. But it's like, ooh, it's not bad. Like the more you drink it, the more like it tastes good. 
It definitely has that like bitter cold brew taste on the back of my throat though, like the coffee. So I'm guessing you like it. It's a nice wake me up. I wouldn't drink it like, um, like if I go like right now to Starbucks and I wouldn't order it, but. <clears throat> and what's your drink? Um, you said it's salted caramel mocha, but I added coconut milk. How's it taste? Pretty much the same. The coconut milk doesn't really change anything. I was gonna do almond, but the almond milk kind of makes it taste nutty sometimes. And this actually didn't change it. Okay, the lighting looks like it got bad, but, all right, there we go, kinda. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know, I usually don't like getting whipped cream with these cold drinks, because I feel like it looks, like to me it looks gross. It does. It clumps it looks... up on top. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's whatever. She asked me and I panicked. I, didn't, I thought she was asking me about this one. That's why. And this just tastes like a regular pumpkin spice. Nothing crazy. It's just my go-to for the fall. But anyway, the cold brew. It really just tastes like a stronger pumpkin spice latte. And I feel like if I needed it like in the morning, like if I was going to work or oh. to school or something, I'd definitely get it. It's a nice pick-me-up. It's not like... It's bitter like cold brew is but it's not like overwhelmingly bitter you know what i do i'd probably like if i had an empty cup right now i'd put like half of the pumpkin spice and then half of this and i feel like that'd be good because i feel like the pumpkin spice is a little too sweet mm -hmm. and this is not really sweet but i feel like together it'd be good but it's not overwhelming right i mean it's not it's not like a... if okay if i went to like somewhere and like, someone got me this mm -hmm. i'd drink it you know i wouldn't be like Bleh. i feel like um just regular like coffee not even cold brew just regular coffee that doesn't have anything in it is more bitter than this like the way this tastes yeah so but also um we finally made it to home goods there's someone in their car so i don't want to you know so we made it to michael's and home goods so let's go so so far we found this sign that says hello fall and this like window thing because i think it looked nice right I also came across one of my friends here, Mr. Scarecrow, literally about my size. And this dude is 600 bucks. Oof. Yeah? Carrots eat that? Carrots eat hay? This looks so aesthetic, so aesthetically pleasing. Honestly, thank Jesus for this. Because without those kind of parking spaces, I don't know what I'd do. Because it's so hot outside oh, yeah. and we parked so close. Um, we forgot to record really what we got in Michael's. Uh, not Michael's, Home Goods. But it was just decorative pillows. And it was just so busy in there. Like it was crazy clutter. Like, you know, like. <laughs> um, but right now, we're going to go to Old Navy. Oh, I forgot. We still have places to go. I mean, we don't have to go. No, it's just, it's I so mean, hard with her. Well, honestly, this one's probably gonna suck anyway. Huh? This old navy here, it sucks. So which one do you want? Because I have a onesie that I bought him, newborn size, and I forgot. We never put it on him, so it has a tag and everything. And now he's fitting it to three-month clothing, so we have to exchange it. We really should go to the outlets. They have nice stuff. Yeah, I guess we can go maybe tomorrow or something. Maybe today. Maybe. They, they don't close early. Well, also, I need to get a haircut because I keep forgetting. Um, ever since I shaved my head, my hair looks weird. <laughs> So I think we're just gonna head over to my mom's house, meet up with her for a bit, and then go get didn't meet up because we're meeting up with other my other family for lunch, late lunch. Um, but yeah, let's go. So we're here at the restaurant now, and um, this is what did we talk about. Well, I don't think we did. So what we got here is leche de tigre, which is basically like the leftover of the ceviche with some grilled shrimp on top, and it is so good. We also have fried shrimp. Sorry. We also have our chicha morada, which is purple corn juice. It's big in Peru. We have our inca cola, canchas, which are pop corn kernels that you usually eat with your ceviche. And Charlotte, what did you get to eat? Yeah, she got salchi papas, which is hot dogs and fries. And we couldn't do it, you know, the classic pollo la brasa. So we got that with some yuca, and we got the fam over here. Hola a todos, saludos. So we have my brother, my mom, my stepdad, my grandpa, and my grandma. 
him something. I just got this bus from Amazon. Nice. Not sponsored. <laughs> Oof, hang on. My mom wants to show off her food. What did you get, mom? This is a Peruvian food. Um, it's, it's called ceviche and it has the... Nice. Alright, so she's gonna try the grilled shrimp. She's never had Peruvian ceviche before, so let's see how she likes it. First reaction. Oof, let's see. Mmm, you like that? Alright, now try some of the ceviche. I think you need a spoon. Maybe not. <laughs> Yummy? Okay. How do you like it? So currently, we are at my brother's house. So, Mr. Veterinary Nature Brother, what are we gonna do right now? We're gonna, I'm gonna touch my, I'm gonna touch my hermit crab, and and he's coming out of his shelf, and then I'm gonna put him in my hand, and he's gonna, and he's gonna walk on me. All right, let's see. Whoa, he's coming out. Oh, wow. 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 Come on. Oh, oh. Say it, no. Oh my gosh, he's grabbing on to me. Charlotte, what do you think? Ouch. 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 He's, as he's walking. Say it, no first crab in the I'm gonna pretend that this is it. Hang on. No, stop. Charlotte, do you want to hold it? No, 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 no! no, no. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> so Nothing. Kim, see you. Hang on, Mom. Older Sasa. Mom, that pose. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's put him back. Guys, so we're inside an airy store, and I think I just saw Ariana Grande. Hang on. Let me see if I can try to get close to her. It's Ariana Grande right behind me. She's right there. Isn't it? It's Ariana Grande. <laughs> It's Ariana Grande. Oh my god. Can you please hit those high notes, Ariana? <laughs> so we're trying to find some clothes to wear for tomorrow's challenge. You'll probably know once we get there. So we have all these choices that she's gonna try on, and hopefully we get out with at least one. I love the thumb, but so we're laying in bed and we just remember that we didn't mention anything about I look like a sack of potatoes, like... <laughs> we didn't mention anything about Charlotte's incident as far as specifics and what happened. So, ma'am. Right, so... Okay. So, we went down for breakfast around 9 a.m. And after breakfast, normally, I like to come back upstairs and... Um, we usually, you know, chill in the room for a bit. Charlotte watches TV. I nurse Oliver until he goes down for his uh, first nap of the day. And, um, but for some reason, um, Friday, I decided that I didn't want to stay in the room, right? And so I even brought my pump downstairs, which was crazy. So it's like, it's like all of this was supposed to happen or something, but whatever. Anyway, so I brought my pump downstairs and I'm pumping, right? And, um, and Charlotte wanted to watch TV, but I was busy. So I was like, oh, just give me a second. But she's impatient. So she knows that on the laptop we can do YouTube. So she goes over to the coffee table and 
she was about to grab the laptop and I say, no, Charlotte, um, leave the laptop there. So she picks it up and she starts running around with it. And I didn't really see how the accident happened because I was sitting in one spot pumping. But all I hear is a loud thump. And I'm like, oh gosh, she fell. And um, so at first, for like the first second, it was really quiet. I was like, Charlotte? And then I hear her scream. And I'm like, Charlotte, are you okay? If she can walk to me, then I know she didn't break anything. And I know she's, you know, she's okay. She's just screaming. At this point, she's like freaking out screaming. So I'm guessing she looked down and saw a bunch of blood. So she then slowly walks over to me. And I see her crying. And I see her limping. And then I look down. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, um, come to mommy, you know. And then she sits on my lap and she just lays on me and then I realize her entire freaking toenail fell off. It's like dangling off by a little thread. Pause. If you guys are squirmish, here is a little graphic warning. I'm going to insert a picture of Charlotte's toe. <laughs> so in five, four, three, two, one. What was that counting? <laughs> Alright, so basically that's her toe. Yeah, and so, um, as you can see, the toenail, like, was lifted up and it, like, it came off, but it was still hanging on. What it looked like in the picture and what I thought was that it was just hanging on by a little thread, but then we ended up, so what happened was I, I called Tony and I was like, and he forwarded my calls and I'm like, please, it's an emergency because he was okay. at work. Okay, I could, realistically, I was in the bathroom, okay? <laughs> and I'm not going to pick up the bathroom while I'm in, I mean, I'm not going to pick up the phone while I'm in the bathroom. Um, yeah, so I forwarded her calls and then she sent me the picture and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so then I had to like run out of the office. I'm like, yo, I'm leaving. I got to go home. <laughs> and then, yeah. yeah, and so then um, she would not let me touch it. Like at all um and because of the fact that she wouldn't let me or him touch it or clean it and she was refusing to walk is why we decided to go to the emergency room because at first he was saying like it's just a toenail and a, and then after he said that i was like it's true you know it's just a toenail like it'll be fine but she was refusing to walk and she wouldn't let us touch it so i was like you know i'm not gonna be the one to traumatize her the doctors can do that so um, we decided to go to the emergency room and, um, and what they saw, they took some x-rays, what they saw was just, um, like, swollen, swollen tissue. tissue, right? And, um, like, I looked at the x-ray, there was a little bit of clotting too, but, um, that seemed to go down once they, like, they put an ice pack on her and, um, and then after that they, like, cleaned out um the toe and we found out that the toenail is actually still pretty stuck on there like in the middle section so they're just gonna leave it and let it sit there until pause <laughs> another picture so this is when we were in the emergency room i'll this show that <laughs> in three two one so in this one, she basically, you can see, you know, the blood is trying to dry it off and everything. That's after they cleaned it, so they were about to bandage it. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so yeah, they just told us that um, because it's still pretty stuck on there, um, we should just wait for it to fall off on its own so that we don't leave, like, exposed skin. And then um, once once it falls off on its own, by then, like... The other one will have started going back already anyway, so. You know, they wanted to see a kid, the children's podiatrist. Podiatrist. So yeah. because of Labor Day weekend and this happened on Friday, um, we can't do anything until like Tuesday. But we set an appointment just so they can check it out. Uh, she's been limping. I took off the wrap and put a band-aid. Yeah. Sorry, this is a better angle. It's not a good angle for me. So yeah, so... Um, we took off the gauze and everything and then I just put a big band-aid on it and she's been limping on it They said just just put like a sock over um, Nothing too tight. But... She was terrified of socks, but now she's okay, and she's terrified of shoes um, Still which is okay because she can't wear them anyway mm -hmm. um, So yeah, no shoes until her 
toe completely heals and um yeah so that's gonna be fun for us this entire time she weighs 30 pounds and it's not easy carrying her around yeah that's basically what happened i guess we'll keep you updated with the more we go and everything someone just had a bath hey about to go to bed so can you thank you for watching and make sure to like subscribe and keep look out for the new video because it's gonna be awesome say bye you mona fam all right do the honors bye